Hello and welcome to this screencast on input and output commands in MATLAB. What we're going to cover in this screencast are two ways to get input from the user uh, using the commands input and menu that MATLAB can then act upon. And then we're going to touch on one command that displays output to the screen called disp. Just to give you a heads up, there's going to be another screencast that covers a more powerful output command called fprintf and you can look for that elsewhere on my YouTube channel. So many times in MATLAB we want users other than ourselves to enter in information when prompted that MATLAB can then act upon. There's two main ways to do that. Let's look at the simplest of these first. And I have an example M file over here and I'm going to want this M file to do something specific. Namely, I want it to take three test scores and compute their average. Okay, so I might run this in a way so that the user is prompted at the command window to enter in those test scores so the user doesn't have to go and create an M file that has the data in them. I'm going to use a command called input to do this, and here's how input works. First of all, uh, whenever the user enters something in, using the input command, it's going to be stored as a variable. So I'm going to start by typing the name of the variable I want the input to be stored as. I'm going to call the first one test1. And the command is input, and then there's, there's one uh, argument for this, and that is a string value that's going to be the prompt that the user sees at the screen. I'm just going to type in uh, enter test1, like so. And since it's a string, of course, I'm encasing it in single quotes. And I'm going to save this file. And let's just run it and see what it does so far. When I click the play button, watch what happens in the command window. I get my prompt. And this is where I type something in, say the number you know, 87, for instance, and hit enter. And at this point, this is all the M file does. And notice what's happened is that MATLAB has taken my input, 87, and stored it in the variable uh, test1. And uh, it's echoed that uh, test1 value back to the screen. I don't think I really want to see that, so I'm going to put a semicolon at the end uh, and clear the screen out. If I rerun that M file now, uh, it's going to give me my prompt. And then when I hit enter, uh, nothing gets echoed back to the screen. But you can see over here that uh, MATLAB is storing the number 87 in test1. Now what I'm going to do next is add just two more lines uh, that are basically the same as line three, except they're going to have uh, my other two test scores, or a prompt for my other two test scores entered into it. I'm going to change this to test two, test three, test two, test three, for example. And uh, I'm going to have one last line that's just going to calculate the average, test one plus test two plus test three divided by three. I don't necessarily want to store that as anything. I just want this M file to calculate it and spit it back out onto the screen. So now when I run this command, let me clear the screen out again run the M file. It's going to ask me for test 1, enter an 87, test 2, let's say it's an 82, and test 3, uh, 96. And then when I hit that enter, uh, it's going to spit back the average, which is 88.33. So that's the basic usage of the input command. Now I can also, uh, for example, maybe I wanted to have this M file also ask for my name, so I might add another line, name equals input, uh, enter your name like so. Now this time it's a little bit different because unlike the first three calls of the input command you saw up here, the input that I'm giving it to, uh, giving to MATLAB this time is going to be a string value, not a numerical value, it's my name. And so without, uh, MATLAB will automatically assume, unless you tell it otherwise, that the input that the user is giving is a numerical value. And what I need to do here is pass input one extra option. It's going to be comma and then single quote s and single quote. This is an extra option you can pass to input to, to the input command that tells MATLAB that the incoming input that the user is giving it is a string value. So now I believe I can uh, clear my screen and run this uh, program one more time. Uh, again, just type in some random numbers here. Now it asks for my name. And now you see over here, it's no error messages, obviously, and in the workspace, name is stored as Robert. So I've cleared my screen here, and I want to show you one other command that lets users enter input into MATLAB, and it's called menu. The best way to see how this works is just to literally see it in action here. So I'm going to go in the command window, not my M file, but in the command window, just type menu. And menu, as a command, takes uh, at least two options, uh, two arguments, that is. The first one, and all of these uh, arguments are string values. We're going to enclose them in single quotes. The first is a title. So I might, uh, for example, this is a, an, this M file over here that I'm working on computes averages of tests. So I might have the user select which course they are in. Uh, so I, uh, the title might be a select, select your course. And then I need to pass it uh, some more options. I teach courses, for example, in calculus 
in linear algebra and in MATLAB. And now when I hit enter, something interesting happens. What this command does is it creates a little menu, uh, just like the name itself. You see the title up here. That was the first argument that was passed to the um, menu command. And then the other three arguments, calculus, linear algebra, and MATLAB, show up as buttons. And so the user can just point and click and select the course that they belong to. For example, if I click on calculus, um, what happens is the result of this menu command passes back a number. If I selected the first button, it returns the number one. If I selected the second button, pull this over closer, uh, it returns the number two and so on throughout the number of buttons that I have. So this is a good option if you want user standard input, but you only want them to select from a preset, uh, literally menu of choices, not give them free reign to enter in whatever they want. So we've seen a couple of commands for getting things into MATLAB. Let's look at a couple of commands for getting things out of MATLAB, that is displaying uh, variables and other information on the screen or even to a file. The simplest such command for displaying information or things that are stored in a variable is called disp, D-I-S-P. Uh, what disp does is it simply displays the contents of a variable without displaying its variable name. For example, over in the workspace I have some test scores like test1. If I wanted to see what value was in test1 at any, any given time, I could just type test1 and hit enter, but it would echo back test1 equals 89. If I only want to see the number 89, I would type DISP and then test 1. And what will happen is, is that MATLAB will just display, literally, that's where the name comes from, the contents of test 1. And I can use any uh, variable I would like here, even string variables like name or ants, and for whatever the last answer was, of course it's going to be my naming, or a 70 in this case. Um, and that's all display does, and that's uh, part of its drawbacks. It's a very simple way to display the contents of a variable, but there's no way to format, or even it's you know, a little hard to combine variables. For example, if I wanted to display a list of test 1, test 2, and test 3 all in a row, you might think that the command would be disp test 1, test 2, test 3, but that will actually throw an error message for us, too many arguments. Display the disp command only has one argument, and that's all it can take. If I really wanted to hack it so that all three of these test scores are displayed side by side, I would have to do something like put them into a vector like so, and then display the vector, and it would work. But So display is very simple, but it's also really limited. So let's recap what we learned in the screencast. We've learned about the command input, which prompts users for an input and assigns that to a variable. This is by default a numerical variable that it uses. If the user is entering a string, we need to pass it an option, just a open quote s close quote, and it'll tell MATLAB that you have a string coming in. We also learned about the menu command, which creates a little graphical user face menu with a title and some choices, and returns a numerical integer result, depending on the number of button that was pressed. And finally, we learned about the disp command, which is a very simple command to display the contents of a variable. Very simple to use, but it's also very limited because there's no formatting options involved. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.